Hey guys, I'm Pat from Limp Mode Tuning. I'm going to explain to you how to use your UpRev software to flash your vehicle. Alright, so first we're going to go to uprev.com slash secure slash support. So you're going to go over here and you're going to scroll down until you see the user's guide. You should download that, you should read that. 370Zs, you're going to have to do a fuse um, mod to the car right here. It's very simple. This is an explanation on how to do it. G35s, you have to move a wire on the OBD2 port. It's very simple. There's ex explanations right there. Everything else uh, except for Sentras is all the same as stock. All right. So you're going to download, under Software Downloads, the UpRev Installer Interface. And here are the additional drivers if you need them. Um, this is for Windows 10 setup, and that's how that'll work. So you download that. Once you download that, you're going to get this software, which is ROM Editor. We're going to open ROM Editor. Now our ROM Editor is open. All right. So you're going to take your UpRev cable. You're going to connect the USB cable side to your computer. You're going to hear it make that noise. All right? It's going to show you that you have a license and an ARC license if you purchase those. Okay? If you didn't purchase those and you need an ARC license and a regular license, you're going to go to Cable Management right here. We're going to click that, and the wonderful Opera of software is not going to work always. So, we're going to wait for that to work. Maybe we're going to have to disconnect and reconnect. Yep, there it is. Wait a second. Let me get the cable management. All right. So it's going to show you your license information. Um, what you're going to need to do here is you're going to go license report. Click this. And then you will save the file for me. And then you're going to send me that file. Then you're going to get your new file. And you're going to go update license. And you're going to load that file in there and hit open, and that is going to put the new licenses on your cable. All right, moving on. We're going to take the cable and plug it into the vehicle's OBD2 port, which is located underneath the steering wheel to the driver's side, as well as on some of them towards the center a little bit. All right, once that's plugged in, we're going to take our key to the vehicle. On the older cars, you have a key like this. On the newer cars, you have a smart key. You're going to put it into the accessory on position, which is all the way to what it would be in the run position. So pass the accessory to the on position. All right, that is going to show us that this vehicle is a stock ECU. We have a license and an ARC license. And we're going to see right here that we have, this is the ROM number, okay? So what you would do with that is you would take this number right here, and send me that number, your ECU part number. Okay, so you're gonna send that to your tuner along with your order number, your name, and your vehicle mods and information about the vehicle. So that means this is a 2004 Nissan 350Z with a four inch intake, full exhaust, and um, those with mods. So you're gonna send that. You're gonna also tell us the fuel you're on. This is on 91 octane, all right? So, you're then going to get a file sent to you via email on that, and you're going to take that file and you're going to go to Flash Tune File. And we're connecting the vehicle. The vehicle is in the on position, not started. All accessories off. We're going to select Flash Tune File, and we're going to select the tune file that you're sent, and you're going to hit Open. It's going to ask you this. You're going to say yes, flash. And now it's going to start flashing the file. This is going to take the license off of your cable.
Okay, now you're gonna shut the key to the off position, following the directions on uprev. You're gonna now put the key in the on position without starting the vehicle. And now the vehicle is going to show you that it is connected to this once everything boots back up. And you're going to have a license on the ECU. And now the vehicle has been flashed. So at this point, you're going to go over here. Once the vehicle is started, you're going to select logging and tracing. You're going to go to schemes, load scheme file, and you're going to pick the one we send you for your vehicle. And you're going to hit open. And what that's going to do is select parameters over on the side here. And then you'll follow the directions for what we've asked for and you'll hit the record button and you'll start to see data going. That data you'll then record how we asked you to. You're going to hit record and then to stop recording you hit the button again. That stops it. You then go to file, save, and then you save the file and at the end of it you will write what log it's for. And then you will save it. And then you will email us those files. We'll send you another tune back that's updated and that will go back and forth with these files until we are completed. Thank you.